All right. Here we go. So finally, we have the match we were looking for before. It's Yarbo, and he's up against Banana Ken. Let's do this. See who's going to take it between these two monsters. Once again, thank you to all the sponsors. Club Caribe, of course. Space Rhino Games. SeaPuertoRico.com. And of course, this event is a part of the Capcom Pro Tour. The top 16 places will get points that will help determine their Capcom Pro Tour status. Okay, so it looks like Yarbo is going to play his signature Cody, and Banana Ken is on Eva Ryu. Banana Ryu. Uh, to the chippy man, I don't know. Sorry, man. A lot of this stuff is being recorded for future broadcasts. So I heard the Blaze Blue tournament, a lot of that is being recorded on the side. Let's see how it goes. Right now, we're rocking the training mode stage. Nice combo. Oh, man, that was weird. Vanekin took advantage. We're used to towards MK there. Wow. Yarbo. This guy's a nut. Uh, KI, KI. What can I say? I agree with the sentiment of hopefully season two brings us something new. One can only hope. Nice break. I really like how he uses towards roundhouse after breaks because many people like Banana Ken just did will press low forward or low short in that situation depending on the spacing. DP. Remember the jab DP so you can get a setup. All right, Bad Spray broke it up. It's like Bad Spray beats that setup consistently. Nice back strong. Who does have a little bit of upper body invisibility, just enough to help out as an anti air. Ultra 2, not gonna go into animation, but the last part does good damage. Overhead. He cracked him. Round 3. Let's go. Okay, nice combo. Banana Ken is in control. Bad spray again broke up the setup. Very unique. Oh, that's a move unique to Cody. In situations where normally you can tech, he can instead get up with that bad spray move. Very awkward if you're not used to fighting against it. Thankfully, it's very, very punishable on block. Red focus. He's dead. Banana Ken takes game number one. King two. Looks like Yarbo is going with poison. Interesting choice here. We'll see how it affects the match. The Master Race, he says Cody cannot unlock his handcuffs. It's not that he cannot lock them, unlock them. He purposely keeps them on. He can remove them at any time. Anytime he wanted to, he could take them off. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So this poison chain has been very effective for Yarbo so far. That is minus frames on the Rekka. But Bananakin did not respond well, and he pays the price. Someone said, free Cody. It's like that. Low forward. So 
Jump in. Banana can with the right early read. Lots of damage there and took her to the corner. Him, her, who knows? It's poison. She's poisonous. Okay, nice grab. Nice. Oh, man, where was the rest of that combo? Yarbo, that was your chance. There we go. EX Rekka, can we get the corner Rekka follow-up? Yes, we can. Very nice. I've talked about that combo before. Very optimal. Oh, backdash, but still got snub. Nice combo, and Banana Kent takes it. Alright guys, we're going to be setting up for Smash soon, just so you know, it starts at about 5pm, originally moved from 4pm, and it's going to be all winners finals and losers finals for Smash, so no, no pools matches except for winners finals matches and losers finals matches, so all good games with any luck, see how it goes. Tatsu follow up after the towards MK, and Banana Ken again is in control, oh man, this might be over, Ultra 2, yes sir, she's dead, it's over, look how much damage this does by the way. All your health. All right, so Banana Ken qualifies in a loser's bracket, and Yarbo unfortunately is eliminated from the tournament. Tough break for him. So once again, the qualifiers from pool number one are EG's Justin Wong and Banana Ken. EG Justin Wong and Banana Ken. From pool two, a knuckle do qualified in winners. We're still looking to see who qualifies in losers. By the way, make sure to check out First Attack PR on Facebook, guys. They're going to have lots of stuff going on during the event. Okay, next match coming up. So here we go, OD Hollow versus Gorman, that's the next match. This is the qualify, right? Losers finals of pool two, okay. So pool two, uh, the person who qualified in winners from this pool was Knuckle Dude. So Knuckle Dude qualified in winners here, and now we're gonna see who's gonna qualify in losers between OD Hollow and Gorman. That's the next match. Right now it's button check. Okay. Gorman is playing as Ken, by the way, and Hollow is playing as Viper. So Gorman player one side, Hollow player two. All right, after this, we're going to have Tampa Bison versus Coca Neta. That will be the next matchup. Did DRA get eliminated? No, DRA is still in, I believe. He's in loser's bracket now, though. DRA is in pool number three. Nice. Great Tatsu there. Not Tatsu, burn kick. 
They're all the same thing. Corus will go back, kick. Woo, I fly at you and do something with my legs. Nice ultra. Gorman's going to take the lead with this one. Great cross of Tatsu, but can I get a full combo? Got her. Very nice. Okay. More low forward. Into Thunder Knuckle. Alright. So Hala using his great backdash to create space and find a throw opportunity. Okay. EX Burn Kick gets nothing. It's like the new Messiah it just goes over all your crowd shorts. Good trade. I think he had enough time to actually get the second Thunder Knuckle, but did not go for it. It was a risk. It was pretty low height-wise. Anyway, Hollow takes round number two. Yo. Okay, EX Hatsu gets him in and a nice Kara grab. And Gorman backs off looking for a bait. Nice combo. It's very close right now in this first game. Definitely will dictate what's going to happen the rest of the match. So even between both players. Uh-oh, we're in. Backdash does not get away. And hollow. Body. Gourmand takes game number one. Okay. So Gorman's been holding strong so far. Oh, huge combo there with the Crouch Fierce Link. Lots of whiffs from Hollow. He's definitely thrown off his game. Nice low profile. And now Gorman again in control. Another Tatsu combo. More frame advantage. No, you cannot backdash. So nice. So Commander Kong, many people say that. But I personally, whatever. I commentate because I have to do it. Let's go. Oh my goodness, that fierce. She's stunned. She might be dead. Look at the damage. Viper in trouble. Can she get out of the corner? She can. What can we do with it? Oh, no. No, no, no. And that's it. Okay, so Gorman will advance. He makes it to top 16. Loses bracket. That means he's guaranteed to get some of those Capcom Pro Tour points. Los puntos. He earned them. Good for him. All right. So here comes Tampa Bison to the stage. Is Tampa Bison versus who? Cocaneta. Oh, Cocaneta, thank you. Tampa Bison versus Cocaneta. Should be a good match. I'm interested to see the result. Is this still winners? Winner final, pool four. gonna take it between these two nuts. Can I want to add something to the chat? 
see how many people press too. They want to see Chris G. Oh. Come on, you know they're all gonna see, want to see Chris G. Why are you even asking that question? Yeah. No, we don't want to see Chris G. Why no. would we want that? I want to see the twos <laughs> flying. <laughs> right. Like, press two if you want to see Chris G. I believe he's on deck. It's Street Fighter anyway. They want to see him play Marvel and throw fireballs. You know that. So, <laughs> uh, let's see, we got one. Oh, we got twos. <laughs> got twos. A zero. Zero. And I, I don't want to see one. him, and I want to see him, and I don't want to see him. I guess that's what zero means. <laughs> All right, okay. so Tampa Bison, player one side. Cocaneta is player two. Man, Cocaneta has like two coaches. That's not going to do anything for you, bro. That's just confusing and conflicting information. <laughs> Let's go. Information overload. Tampa Bison, player one. Cocaneta, player two. This is pool number three, I believe. The pools are listed on the first attack site, although not everybody in them. It doesn't have the late registrations. Chumanji. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's go. And the pace of the match has been set already. It looks like Coconeta is thinking very defensively. He's not trying to rush in too hard, but instead wait and find his opportunity. And he does. Gets in and a nice standing roundhouse. Tampa Bison has to escape. Okay. Anyway, Tampa Bison's spacing and his block strings have been holding up. He does have a small lead here versus Yun. Wake up Ultra, no go. No go, sir. Oh, why did he try to focus there? It was reversal. Can't do that, sir. Does not work that way. Lucky break for Coconeta that Tampa Bison went for that. Okay, stand around house again. He takes it. We're trying to determine if this is still winners or not. We don't know. I believe this is still winners. It is, okay. So it's pool four winners. Oh, winners finals. Okay, so this is the winners finals of the pool. So pool number four, winners finals, Tampa Bison versus Coconeta. The winner of this will qualify for top 16, guaranteed to get some of those Calcom Pro Tour points. Wow, lots of pressure from Coconeta. Just needs a little more to seal the deal, and he does with that. Sh Ooh, or not. No, no, don't get greedy like that, man. Do not get greedy. Coconeta seals round two. Both players are on full stock. Best believe we're going to see some reversals and some FADCs before this round ends. Okay, EX Psycho, right back at you with the EX Lunge. Oh my god, nice combo. And Kokaneta's in control, dictating the pace, nice command grab, into the red focus, extended combo, took him all the way to the corner with that one. Okay, EX Lunge, nice dive kick setups. He's staying on him. Tama Bison's in trouble. Good back dash, but did not have enough charge for the short, short scissors. Okay, nice scissor kick there. Great frame trap. And Tama Bison is spending his bar just to stay in. He knows this is his last chance. Nice escape from Coconeta. He can finish it off. Uh-oh, watch out, man. The scissor kick pressure is turning up right now. Tama Bison is, is using those efficient charges, but Coconeta takes it. PR likes it, they're hype. Uh, yes, he does still have a maximum height restriction on his dive kick. That uh, that nerf was not removed. Are you ready? Uh, mostly, it was a lot of his damage nerfs that were returned to him. That helped out a lot, actually. A couple other things got changed, but to be honest, I don't really remember. Oh, yeah, EX Lunge Punch got made back into minus, uh, plus one from being minus or something. 
I'm bad with change lists. I try to remember the important stuff, but I'm not perfect. Nice. Ouch. To the dome. Nice. Keep it up. Ooh. Wow. Crouch strong anti air worked out. Oh. And then that happened. Tower Bison trying to stay strong. Yeah, I don't know. I think that Yun, although very strong right now, he's still difficult to play. He's a low health character, and he's very dependent on getting close to the opponent. Uh, characters that tend to be dependent on getting close to you have weaknesses. However, Yun, very, very strong. Great offensive pressure. Okay. Great dive kick setup. And we're staying in there. Wow. Neutral jump. That was great. He is chasing Tampa Bison down. Chased him again, but the option select did not work out. Scoop. Great back dash. Gokaneta's playing really smart right now. He's got a chance to take this round. EX command grab. Is it enough? No, he's still alive. Ultra. He got him. He got him. Snuffed him on the overhead. This is going to be almost even. Oh, my God. So much life. He's dead. So close. Why didn't you block, Coconeta? Why didn't you block? And Tampa Bison takes it. Are you ready? Ouch. Okay, Tampa Bison right back at you with the knockdown. And back at you again. Tampa Bison down to half health already. And Gokaneta's rushing down. Another combo. One more hit. He's going to be stunned. This is a stun. Oh, he missed it. That was the stun. Oh, my God. Gokaneta. You got to stay strong, man. Don't drop this round. Tampa Bison trying to mount a comeback. Nice EX Psycho. Wake up trade there on the down jabs. This is scary. Very scary. 50 seconds remain. Plenty of time for Tama Bison to take his time, use his charges, and chip away. Oh, Ultra! He got it. He got it. Is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. He's dead. That was a choke, man. He had to stun there, definitely. <laughs> Shine says, this is how bad things happen. Sure enough. Oh my god. And Tama Bison is now in control. Was down from 1-0 and now he's almost at the classic. You know what I mean. The classic. When you had the win in your hands, in your possession, and your opponent comes all the way back. The moment is happening and Kokaneta cannot let it occur here if he wants to stay strong. Nice punishment and another bait. Tama Bison is out of meter. Gokaneta so patient right now. He wants to maintain this life lead and attack as safely as possible. Nice. Great safe shoulder strength. And great use of stand short there. No OS on the back teleport, but no big deal. We still have the lead. No anti-air there. Instead, he backs up, but Tampa Bison lands the hit, gets the knockdown. Oh, my goodness. The trading. Nice up kicks. And a nice sweep. It's not over. Regular grab. Double shoulder to build a little bit of meter. Tampa Bison has to attack now. He has no choice. Seven seconds remaining. Do not choke, bro. Five seconds. 
Scoop again. Two seconds. T timer scam. Timer scam. Smart stuff. Oh my god. We're going to the final round. Coconeta. Oh! What? What? Wow! Wow. I thought that was going to be Coconeta's round. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Huge, huge disappointment for Coconeta there, man. Uh, stop. Brutal. All right. Ready to call the next one? Yep, I'm ready. All right, we're going to get the chat. They're a messiah. GG Chris G versus PRK Durantulao. Main stage on stream. All right, so we got match from the second set of pools. On deck, after those rounds, we got Pooh versus Flacco, 304. And PRK is Benji versus Java, or Java, on deck. Right now, Green Team versus Duran Pula. Right now, Green Team versus Duran Pula. That was really unexpected. You had two people who used to play John June, especially Mono, who used to play main June, uh -huh. pad player on, on Street Fighter 3. And he still got by. <laughs> people over. asking for a replay. <laughs> a replay.